Uh, good morning. Uh, today I'm going to discuss about uh, one of the few topics which is quite uh, important to understand in pediatrics uh, and uh, and of which people and uh, students who are preparing for the exams get confused uh, easily with this uh, terminology because they quite uh, uh, sound alike. So today we are going to discuss about uh, breast milk jaundice and breast feeding jaundice. To start with, so the I want I will be explaining you the core concept. What is that you should look inside the uh, in, in the two concepts here. So if you see one is breast milk jaundice the other one is breast feeding jaundice so i would tell you just just omit the word breast and then just read it so you will be able to see milk jaundice and the other one is feeding jaundice now now i will be explaining you now what is the pathophysiology of this condition and what is the core what is the problem which lies uh, for the cause uh, which results in jaundice in the children so if you take this is gut i'm being very simple here this is gut and the jaundice here is because of milk so when the baby is just born he is just born now day zero one two three four like that and during this period <clears throat> when the milk is when the milk is uh, fed to the baby the milk contains something called as beta glucuronidase So this is the this is the enzyme. Uh, this is the enzyme which results in deconjugation. Deconjugation. Now, if if I explain you like that, now normally this is the liver. This is the liver, which is going to secrete its contents in the second part of duodenum. Right, you know that. So, if if you remember the contents which are going to come from the liver is the bile. So this bile is actually what is the function of this bile is for emulsification. Emulsification. So in simple terms, it breaks down the fatty uh, substances in the food. So in children, it, it plays the same role. So when milk is taken and the milk contains beta glucuronidase, this bile which is going to come here, this bile which is going to come here will be deconjugated by the enzyme present inside the milk. Inside the milk. So now when they are the bile which is normally conjugated, uh, because liver is functional, right? So now bile, unconjugated bile will get unconjugated conjugated bile will be coming from the dead RBCs. Dead RBCs. And in the liver, in the presence of beta glucuronidase, it will be conjugated and sent to the gut, which is required for the emulsification of fats. Right, so now this bile, conjugated bile in the gut is deconjugated in the presence of beta glucuronidase present in the milk. So that results in again unconjugated, increase in unconjugated, so unconjugated bilirubin. Now this unconjugated bilirubin is taken back to the liver through enterohepatic circulation.
so this this is the reason so all unconjugated bile will be going into the liver and from the liver it is going to enter into the systemic circulation and in the systemic circulation and if it if it is spreading inside the systemic circulation it causes the jaundice right so this is the this is the uh, pathophysiology for the breast milk jaundice now now what happens in breast feed, uh, breast feeding jaundice is the problem is with the feeding so let's suppose a mom who is primi gravida so basically she is new mom she doesn't has uh, any experience with the babies she doesn't know how to feed the baby as well so in the baby the the gut is not getting any milk at all now why is that the case this is because primarily because of poor technique or poor or uh, lactational failure so that results in that results in absence of milk going into the gut of the baby so whenever there is no whenever there is no uh, milk inside the gut but yet the liver is going to send all the bilirubin inside the inside the gut so when bilirubin is going to come to the gut it is getting unconjugated again by bacterial bacterial beta glucuronidase so this again breaks down the conjugated bilirubin into unconjugated bilirubin and sends back to the liver through the same process enterohepatic circulation so this once the unconjugated bilirubin because there is no milk coming at all there is no milk at all and this this cycle will be going on and all the bilirubin will be pretty much going into the liver again and into the systemic circle into the systemic circulation so that results in jaundice again now if you see both are unconjugated bilirubin unconjugated bilirubin then you might ask me how will we differentiate between breast milk jaundice and breast feeding jaundice now the answer very the answer is very simple the baby is drinking here so he is very healthy so he is a healthy baby with jaundice and he will not have any signs of dehydration because the milk is going on i if you remember this is exclusive breastfeeding he is only drinking milk so it is very important that the the only thing he is drinking should should be at least bare minimum it should have been in, uh, he should be taking it so healthy baby with jaundice and there will be elevated unconjugated bilirubin here now on the contrary the breastfeeding jaundice because there is no milk coming because of poor technique and lactational failure there is all the signs and symptoms of dehydration and the baby will be irritable lethargic right so these are the these are the things you will be seeing in the baby along with jaundice so i this is pretty much very important for you to know because the baby can have the same the baby can have unconjugated in both the cases but how it looks will pretty much sums up what is happening underneath so this is healthy baby this is healthy baby and this is pretty much sick baby so sick baby who have all the signs of dehydration and he is lethargic and uh, now this is the birth of the baby right and then this is the first week so pretty much because the technique is wrong the technique is wrong and lactational failure happens for any case it may be she hand syndrome that results in absence of milk and this pretty much shows in the first week itself because you you can make out that so pretty much for uh, first week only so so breast feeding jaundice will be pretty much in the first week whereas the after the birth the mom is trying to feed feed and feed so first week mein kuch nahi dikhai dega so nothing happens in the first week 
and pretty much uh, in the second week you'll be able to see the signs of you'll be see uh, you'll be seeing the jaundice but yet the baby seems very healthy so what is that you we want to do here now so here because the milk is the problem and yet the baby is healthy you continue the feeding continue the feeding and the second thing uh, if the jaundice is so severe you can stop the uh, what do i mean by so severe to a point where the baby can get into carnectress so you can stop the feeding and give supplemental feeds you can give uh, formula feeds and formula feeds will work because that doesn't have beta glucuronidase now what about this so in breastfeeding jaundice the technique is wrong so what do you do in when the technique is wrong you advise advise the mom to do proper technique use proper technique and the second one is uh, because baby baby is pretty much uh, de dehydrated you can even uh, start with uh, iv saline so this is the initial management because he is very lethargic and he is dehydrated right so this is the initial uh, so we can actually write this one uh, this is the first thing and then you advise the mom before you leave right so advice and you can you and uh, you know not all primary moms will have uh, knowledge of uh, feeding the baby so uh, we we should tell moms how to you know properly feed so that uh, nipple areola complex should be pretty much uh inside the mouth of the baby so that the baby should be sucking the milk adequately so this is what i mean mean to tell you so this is pretty much uh, what is breastfeeding jaundice and breast milk jaundice thank you